Scenario. A person was standing on top of a ladder up against a wall of a building. The ladder slips and falls. The person that was standing on the ladder slips off the ladder as well and starts to fall as a result. Here's the question. I would like you to draw the path and the value of the acceleration for that person. Here's the answer. That person, that dot represents the center of mass. It goes down and the person is falling due to the force of gravity. So the person is falling under free fall. So the acceleration for that person is equal to 9.8 meters per second squared. It's technically negative for downwards, but I'm just asking for the magnitude of the acceleration. Next, you want to draw the path and the value of the acceleration for the center of mass of the ladder. The center of mass for the ladder, which is rightly in the middle, it's right there. Okay, it's represented by green. It's right in the middle of the ladder. This also falls at 9.8 meters per second squared because both of them are under the experiencing the force of gravity. Now, you want to draw the path and the value of the acceleration on top of the ladder. The fact that the center of the fact that it's no longer at the center of mass, it's at the top of the ladder. Notice that the arrow here is longer. The reason why the arrow is longer is because the acceleration is actually greater than 9.8 meters per second. The reason why is because it is away from the center of mass. The acceleration is greater at the top of the ladder as a result. The center is at 9.8. The top would be at greater than 9.8. Also, if you remember torque, it explains this a little bit better. But there you go. The top of the ladder will accelerate more. The center of mass will accelerate the same value under free fall, which is 9.8, like that person. There you go.